Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dilip, Assistant Professor in Department of Physics, RV College of Engineering. In this video, we are going to learn the experiment interference at a wedge. So the main aim of this experiment is to find the thickness of the thin paper piece, paper strip, by setting up an interference spring just at an air wedge. The major operators required are two, two thin flat glass plates, sodium blank, traveling microscope, a thin paper piece, reflecting glass plate, then reading lens and a scale. The major principle involved in this experiment is the getting the interference pattern when a paper piece is placed between the two optical flat glass plates. Air film is formed, formation of the wedge is formed between the two glass plates. If a parallel beam of light, which is a monochromatic light, is made to incident normally on the wedge, the beam gets refracted through the upper glass plate. The two reflected rays from the upper and lower positions of the air film form the two coherent sources which will interfere which will gives us the interference pattern when you look through the microscope this is the analogy of this experiment through the diagram this is the sodium vapor lamp which is a monochromatic light source incline a glass plate at an angle of 45 degree this is the air wedge setup at one end we have placed with a paper piece small thin paper please piece Next incident light radiation when, the, when it is falling upon the inclined glass plate it refract and fall upon the air wedge pattern. Next the reflected part of this light radiation will act as, act as two light sources and when it is absorbed through the traveling microscope we can see the interference pattern due to the superposition of these two light radiations. This is the interference pattern we are going to get. After getting the interference pattern we have to start taking the reading. Now we shall learn how to perform the experiment by using the experimental apparatus. This is the sodium vapor lamp we can observe in the right corner. Next, this is the traveling microscope. Bridge type traveling microscope. In this bridge type traveling microscope, this is the horizontal screw which is used to move the microscope horizontally and this is the vertical screw which is used to move the microscope vertically for focusing. This is the eyepiece and this part is the objective. Upon this scale, we are having the two readings to be taken. MSR that is main scale reading and CVD coinciding vernier division and this is the glass frame these are the two thin glass plates these are the two thin plain glass plates before considering this we have to clean up this wipe of this by using the muslin cloth by using the muslin cloth we have to clean up this then we have to form the air wedge by considering by taking a thin paper strip very much small amount of the thickness for this one only we are supposed to find out the thickness we have to keep this paper strip at one one end of the glass plate like for example if i take the pencil kept it at one end of the glass plate and above that glass plate above that pencil we are going to place the one more glass plate in between that we form we get a small amount of the thin air film that air film we call it as air weights like that similarly same way we are going to replace this pencil by a thin paper strip of small thickness now we are going to place it over there this forms a film in between a thin air film between the two glass plates this we call it as air wedge. then this has to be taken and kept it below the glass frame this is the glass frame and it has to be it has to be kept below the glass frame like this without doing the disturbance this is the eyepiece this is the objective and this is the glass frame below that glass frame we are going to have placed with the air wedge setup now we have to fix this glass plate at an angle of 45 degree we can't able to measure it but by looking through the visibility of through the eyepiece we can able to see at particular angle for this glass plate at one particular angle we can see the bright visibility through the microscope that bright visibility we call it as the 45 degree angle for this glass plate after that after fixing this to 45 degree angle next looking through the eyepiece using the focusing screw bring it down very slowly at one point of the focus you can see alternate bright dark fringes that we call it as interference pattern which can be seen in the top right corner of this video after getting the fringe pattern like this through the microscope you have to concentrate on one of the dark fringe which is n we will take it as n fringe and we have to take the reading in the travel through the train the traveling microscope for the n fringe that is msr reading and cvd reading in your least count is the 
LC is the least strong, which we call it as the least count of the traveling microscope given by the formula value of 1 minus square division divided by total number of divisions in the vernier scale. So here the value of 1 minus square division will be equal to the 0 0.05 centimeter and total number of divisions will be in the vernier scale will be equal to the 50. That is will be equal to 0 0.05 divided by 50 will be equal to 0 0.001 centimeter that you have to cross verify by doing the experiment. After taking the reading for the nth fringe, you have to take, you have to move the point of intersection of two crosswords in the microscope to the n plus 2, so n plus 2 fringe, the second fringe, n plus second fringe, and again you have to take the reading. Similarly, you have to continue up to n plus 22 fringes for the two different fringes. Then you have to, to total reading has to be calculated by using the formula MSR plus DVD into LC. After that, the same data has to be entered in the table number 2, like you have to take the difference for nth fringe and n plus 12th fringe. So that we are going to get the width of 12 fringes. Similarly, for n plus 2 and n plus 14, the width of 12 fringes. Same way, you have to repeat up to n plus 22 fringes. We are going to get the uh, fringe width for 12 fringes. Then we have to get the fringe width for one fringe. The average value of these we have to divide by 12. We'll get fringe width value in terms of meter. So that fringe width value you have to take out in the formula given over there to find out the thickness of the paper strip place it here or here that is in the air width at the edge of the air width t is equal to lambda into l divided by 2 into beta lambda we call it as the wavelength of the sodium light 589.3 nanometer l is the length of the air width length of the air width you have to measure by using the scale from this point to this point only next beta is the fringe width for one fringe you have to you got it from this point you have to note it down and do the calculation and get the result so this is about this experiment. Thank you.